So, living in Moral Tower, what's it actually like? It's obviously one of the most infamous dorms on OSU campus, considering that's where Dahmer lived, it was built in the 1960s, and it's not exactly known for being the nicest dorm on campus. But what's it actually like living in the tower? Is it actually good or is it actually bad? So whether you're already an admitted student placed in the Moral Tower, or you're just wondering how Dahmer lived, this is the video for you. Because I'm gonna show you what it's like living in Moral Tower. There's no cool transition. I, I'm literally a moral tower writer. This is literally my room. There's not much. So basically after you come inside, you have a microwave on top and then like a refrigerator on the bottom. You have like the refrigerator and then a freezer. And after that, you have the trash can on the other side. You also have a recycling bin. And then after that, you kind of come over here. If you have a, like a double basically, where you have two people in a room, this entire section right here is yours. And you have two drawers at the bottom here that you can place. Um, this setup is obviously if, if people have a quad, so it's usually like divided in half. But if you have two people, basically both sides is yours. And you come over here into the room. Here you can have a place where you can hang your towels and all that stuff. This is just an air purifier and you've got places to put your, like, your shoes and all that stuff. Um, I'm here too. And out here you can literally see that it is the Ohio Stadium from the Ohio State University. Just right there. Unfortunately, the windows cannot open which means that you can't get fresh air, which kind of sucks. And then after that, you have four drawers here. They're basically pretty standard drawers that you can put stuff in. Then you have the bed. This is a bed in a double room where you just basically have one bed. Um, as you can see here in an image, that's what happens if you have a bunk bed. Over here, you technically have two closets. Like I mentioned before, everything's designed for so that you can have four people in here. But if you only have two people, you can basically just make it to however you want. And after that, you know, you can put posters on this wall, posters on those walls. I'm just not really creative and I'm not great at decorating. As you can see, I would really highly suggest a fan just because obviously air circulation when there's no window open isn't exactly great. So trust me, get a fan. It's going to be worth it. And it's going to make the air basically better. I, I, yeah. Anyways, that's basically the rooms. Um, so back to the actual video portion. All right, so a few things to know about Moral Tower. First of all, it's located on West Campus, which is right next to the river, meaning that it's really far away from everything else. It's literally a 15 minute to basically most of my classes, and you're basically just stuck in the middle of nowhere. The good thing though is that the tennis court is literally right next to you. You can literally walk out and see them, and also the RPAC, which is basically the biggest gym on campus, is also really close to you. Even though it's a five minute walk, it's still not that bad. In the tower itself, there's actually 23 floors, and floors four to 23 are where people actually live. The first floor is actually kind of like a moat where people can drive their cars in, drop off stuff, or people can order Grubhub from there and get their food. The second floor is where the dining area is. It has like a bunch of stairs. It all has like a C store that you can buy stuff in. And the third floor is actually the main lobby. So editing me here, I forgot to introduce a section where I kind of go through the rest of Moral Tower. So that'll be like right now. All right, so after you leave my room, as you can see, there's a few other rooms. This is for the quad for four people. This is another double. This is mine, obviously, with two people, a double. And that's it's also a double. And then over here is the walkway. It's honestly a really nice common room. You have a light over there, as you can see, obviously. You have a few couches that you can basically rearrange to whatever you want. I know some people like to have that table right over there. They put it over on this wall and you can basically, you know, just have a TV here while everyone else sits on the couch. But we didn't do that because we're too lazy. And we also have a table here, which is really great for playing cards or doing whatever you want at the night. And honestly, some people like to use their common rooms a lot, except like, we don't, which is why it's this plane. But like usually people do and it's really cool. Now one thing I did forget to mention is that there's also a bathroom. And this is how the bathroom's basically laid out. It's like uh, three stalls, four sinks. You can basically put whatever you want on there. You just don't put much in general. And then after that you have the showers, which is in okay condition. I think it's okay. There are definitely a lot messier dorms than this. And I mean, I think it's okay and you have the mirrors. Yeah, basically this is the bathroom. So if you're living with really messy roommates, they are kind of screwed, but other than that, like, it's okay. So after that, basically the lobby in your floor is kind of like this. It's a circle. Um, there's a laundry room and there's a trash room, as you can see. And there's also a water fountain where you can refill your water bottles. These are the elevators. And it's basically just a big loop around and around. Each floor has like a different theme. Um, ours is, if you can't tell, uh, cereals which is why we have the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and the something else in there. So this is like the laundry room. Um, as you can see, there's machines. What are they called? 
They're called washers and dryers. I finally remember what they're called. And there's two per four. It's honestly not that bad, but like, sometimes they are filled up, which kind of sucks. One great thing about Moral, though, is that the elevators are honestly really fast, which is really nice. And like, I'm not going to say what floor I started on, but I'm basically already at the lobby, which means the door's going to open, so I'm going to stop speaking because I'm really out So when you enter Moral, this is kind of like the layout of like the place. This is the lobby area, and there's really usually really stupid people that work here, but it's okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> and over here, so there's places where you can return containers for your food, and there's also study rooms over there. I don't know if you can see, but we'll go over them a bit. And this is kind of like the lounge. Usually you'll see some people maybe like watching some TV or playing pools. Like I said before, there's also study rooms, but I don't want to disturb anyone in here that's studying, but like, there's no one in here. We'll get tonight. So what it's basically like is just like this. It's just basically an empty room, but I think this is honestly one of the best parts of Moral. So if your roommates are really busy with something and you can't really study in your room, then this is honestly a great place to go. So out here, this is like the open area, as you can see. Um, it's just like the stairs. That's basically actually the third floor. And then you take the stairs down to the second floor, and that's where the walkway is. And then if you go down one more to the first floor, then that's the loading area, which is really weird that they do it like that, but you know, there's a, there is a piece of ATM. They are not lying. It actually does make a piece of like an ATM. So this is the first floor lobby. Um, it sucks. There's two sets of elevators on both sides. One over there, one over here. And the elevators are good, but the first floor sucks. I forgot to mention earlier, but every single time you gotta go in the elevator, you also have to swipe, which is kind of annoying. But like, elbow. So out of the actual 20 floors where people live, there's actually around 1,200 people living in Moral Tower. So basically how it's set up is there's usually six suites in one floor. And basically what you saw outside is technically a suite. Usually each suite has around 10 people where they have three doubles and a quad. And the rooms right next to the resident advisor or the RA only has one single where a person can just live there. I, I don't know, they're probably lonely. But other than that, you're basically living in a suite with nine other people that you either just met or you already knew some of them considering that you can go in and partner with i think up to three people other than yourself but basically you're meeting a bunch of strangers for the first time so whenever people say that they have so many roommates and they can't deal with them imagine living with nine other people it's okay honestly so let's talk about the people in moral tower even though moral tower is really far from everything else you're basically like never talking with anyone else on your floor or in your building other than your suite mates you just got to make sure that you get along with them um obviously there's nine other people which is a lot. In that first week, you probably want to go around and meet everyone on your floor because after that, everyone just kind of like huddles back into their own suite. And that's basically who you talk to in Moral Tower. So if you actually do want to meet people in Moral Tower, the best idea is probably go to one of those like events that they have downstairs or go into the lounge room. But all of my suite mates and my roommate are really chill. They're honestly really great people. Like I got really lucky rooming with them and they don't even mind me filming and my door is open, but it's okay. But one of the big things in living in a suite like this is that they actually don't really clean your room. You can technically pay money for them to clean your bathroom, but other than that, like as of last year, you're basically left on your own. You have to clean your own bathroom, which obviously isn't really fun, but at the same time, you're not sharing the same four bathrooms with like the rest of your floor. So honestly, I kind of prefer it. You're basically left to choose how you want to clean your bathroom, who to clean it, and how to manage it. So in our room, we basically break it down where one of the bathrooms is basically for three people, the other one's for three people, and the final one's for four people. Everyone kind of shares a sink um, along the lines and they just break it even and then five people are in one shower and the other five are in the other. And they're basically responsible for managing their own sections and how clean it is. Another thing is you just basically have to get used to just people being around all the time. Usually there's always at least one person chilling in the suite and I mean even if the nine other people are out, they're going to slowly come back towards the night and at night you're going to end up with everybody back. But that basically means that every single day really won't be boring because you have nine other people to interact with, you're always going to be doing something, someone's always always going to be doing something and there's always going to be something funny that happens which is honestly kind of nice now in moral tower there's also technically a restaurant for traditions which is basically a part of like the entire like school managed like restaurants not restaurants they're they're dining dining hall dining halls I don't know why I forgot that. And out of the three on campus between Scott, Kennedy, and Moral, Moral is usually unequivocally the worst. But it's also really different. So what it basically is, is instead of just walking in and, you know, swiping your card or anything to just get in, you have to go on to Grubhub and I think they're partnered with OSU or something, and you can basically just get a box. And it's like a reusable box, you can put it with whatever foods you want, 
And then after that, after you're done grabbing everything, you can take it back up and just take it to wherever you want to go. And all you have to do is return it to one of the bins when you're done, and that's basically how that system works. So that basically means that you can walk downstairs, order food, come back upstairs, and eat basically at your table, and you don't have to go anywhere else, which is probably one of the best perks about more. Now I know there's like a lot of people that says the food isn't good, but it's not like they don't have anything. They have decent cereal, they have decent desserts, they also have okay food for the most part. You can also order other things such as sandwiches or rice and noodles or pizzas, technically through the Grubhub app as well that you can't get from like the buffet downstairs. So there's a few more options after that. Now as for traveling, yeah, Moral Tower is not the best. Basically what it is is that it's separated from not only all your classes, but all your clubs, social events, basically everything. It's kind of like an island next to the river, surrounded by like not much, and then you have to go like five, seven minutes the other way to actually get stuff. So one of the best tips if you are living in Moral Tower is to 100% get a bike. It not only speeds everything up, but there's literally racks outside where you can put your bike. And as long as you have a lock, no one's really gonna steal that. Usually it takes me 15 minutes to walk to class or walk to basically wherever I need to go. But with a bike, you can cut that down basically to like five minutes, which is honestly like, really efficient if you think about it. Like I didn't have a bike for the first half of the semester and I walked everywhere. Like I had like 15,000 steps a day, but then like I got a bike and like it's been so much nicer. Also there's a hill going down from Moral Tower so you can kind of just like ride down that hill, get a little bit. It, 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 it's fun, trust me. Now one of the other benefits about living in Moral Tower is that the Ohio Stadium is literally right there. And when I mean right there, it's, it's, it's literally right there. I mean like literally, like it's right there. So you know, sometimes I'm just like chill here, you know, have a little bit of a drink and you know watch the osu penn state game exactly from my room and if you go up higher you can get the full view of the stadium as shown right here that is a view that you can be getting if you lived in moral tower so you can basically watch the game without even paying for a ticket like if there's a camera circling around the ohio stadium you'll probably see moral tower behind it that does also mean that when there is football season around it is kind of noisy sometimes but Usually, you can't really hear it. Like, I have a fan going on in the back, like, constantly. So when there was a game going on and I was in here, you know, I could barely hear anything. The most I could hear was when the drums were playing really loudly. So it really doesn't impact anyone. Now, as for a part of the video where you're probably clicking for, for Dahmer, Yes, Dahmer did live in Moral Tower. He lived in like the 1970s or something, but he technically did drop out after like a semester basically. So he didn't live here for that long, but he did still live here. He lived on, I think the fifth floor. Let me check actually that real quick. Dahmer lived on the fifth floor in room 540. So if you do get that room, feel free to exploit that for YouTube content, but that is actually where he lived. I do remember hearing from people that the people living in that room this year are not very happy about it. They are very happy about it because people sometimes knock on their door and like go like, oh my God, is that Dahmer's dorm? So like, don't do that if you're here. It's probably rude. I'm living in Dahmer's tower, so I can't say much either. Now as for your room itself, you kind of saw how mine was and I showed a few other examples, but you're basically left to design it and make it however you want. Obviously there's a few things that OSU says you can't bring, but other than those, you're basically able to design your room however you want. You can hang up posters that you buy at the poster fair. You can decorate your bulletin board. You can put up photos. Um, I don't know, I'm not that creative. So honestly, my overall view of moral, it's really not the worst dorm on campus. First of all, you have AC, which not every single dorm can say. And additionally, the rooms are honestly really spacious, especially if you have a double. And it's basically like a suite. You have your own bathroom that you can just walk across towards. You have a common area where you can always just have fun, chill, have a TV there, or you can honestly bring a friend over and have them sleep on the couch. Like you can do that. It's literally right there. And there's also a dining hall, albeit, it's okay, but it's still food. So if you're in a rush, you can still just go straight down, get some food, order some food, and then come back up. And it's really just as simple as that. Moral Tower is a little bit disconnected from everything, but all in all, if you do get Moral Tower, it's not the end of the world. It's honestly not that bad. And trust me, this is coming from me. I was like, I'm gonna die if I'm in here. And then I got here and then I, I like, died and then like I came back to life and I now I live here. The only bad thing is that there is actually a lot of travel time between you and your classes so you do have to keep that in mind and that's why I really recommend getting a bike but all in all Moral Tower really isn't the worst dorm on campus. It's not Blackburn, it's not Tours, it's not Park Strad but at the same time at least you have AC. I think that's a good note to end on. If you like the video please subscribe it's like down or down here it's it's one or the two and uh yeah, please subscribe. Uh, give me watch hours. I want to get monetized. Uh, bye bye.